So y'all know we talk about Malu from time to time. That was like one of my biggest videos that blew up when I was talking about Malu and all that shit that was going on with like her family and stuff. So you know we talk about Malu from time to time, and I think she bad. Listen, I think she is. But anyways, Malu Trevejo, however the fuck you say her name, her last name, sued by ex-employees for abuse. Listen, I don't know how how tall this woman is. I feel like she like five three. You feel like this little five three. Year, Five three go do something. Like what was she doing? Like this is the questions I have. And I was talking about her with her whole little situations. Her mom crazy ass doing a, a alleged witchcraft or whatever the fuck the mama was doing. You know, we was talking about them. We had the little videos in there and whatever. But and then the whole Travis Scott fiasco, I was talking about her as well. But now basically by the way, we still didn't figure out what the fuck was really going on with that shit. But besides that <laughs> We now we have this, and I'm just like I'm confused at this point. You know, like I said, we talk about Marlo at least once or twice, twice every year. So hey, you get it early. But anyways, let's talk. Her former employees are suing for four million and claim they endured mental, emotional, sexual, and physical abuse. Listen, like what sexual abuse? Cause listen, again. Again, I don't know what she. Maybe she was crazy. Now this is a legend. I don't know one hundred percent if they if it's factual, but hey, we gonna we gonna keep reading this shit. That's it. So she's a social media influencer who has turned her online visibility into a singing career. But Malu isn't being highlighted for her accomplishments in the recent reports. Billboard uh, recently shared new information about a massive lawsuit filed against the 20 year old, oh wow, she's fucking 20, 20 year old star by four former staffers who accused her of abuse. Are they all men? Okay. Eduardo Vidal, Ralph uh, Colon, Victoria Barreto and Witcher Eh Witcher Witch Neverson Witch Neverson Yo what the What type of name is this LaCroix LaCroix whatever Nigga LaCroix Whatever the fuck your name is nigga Stay in their lawsuit against the star they have endured mental, emotional, sexual and physical abuse. So I'm guessing Ralph and Eduardo or maybe Victoria hey she was with it with y'all. While employed, they also claim that the Cuban American singer berated them with racial. Sl There's no way. Like majority of these niggas are Spanish, right? Or have Spanish last names. There's no way she did that to y'all, bro. <laughs> let's re let's keep reading. The outlet further detailed the allegations. Barreto worked as a personal assistant, and alleged. Oh, uh, wait, that's a nigga. Victoria, though. What do you mean him? That's her. So, Beretto worked as a personal assistant and alleged um, uh, Malu made sexual advances towards him. But it's her. She says the singer would ask her to sleep in her bed and cuddled with her. Beretto uh, claimed she rejected Malu and then experienced increased aggression. She also said that she also says she was also called names like stupid. So, Cologne, the star's bodyguard, claimed that Amalu um, frequently ignored his advice about her safety. He says her behavior also placed him in danger in incidents that could have been avoided. What else we got? That's it? Oh. So, Malu's attorney issued a statement regarding the ac accusations, allegations. Uh, Malu is aware of the false allegations in the lawsuit and looks forward to defending herself against these baseless claims. The former employees are seeking $4 million in damages. The Shade Room is also investigating the allegations and shared an in-depth video report about the lawsuit. That's crazy. Again, I don't feel like this pint size little miss can do a lot like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, employers might have some wild shit they want you to do. Well, they think it's normal, but, and then you say no, and they're going to move a certain way, they might fire your ass and do whatever, blase, blase. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, bro, like, yo, my, yo, my, I never really report on a good video, 
with my like this is wild again i'm not gonna sit here and just say yo malu did that shit and like that's not really a section of that she just said cut off now it is wild like me being like an assistant or whatever the fuck is like bitch come into bed and cut with me like yeah he, like regardless like it's like bitch that's not my duty <laughs> Focus. I gotta cuddle with you But depends how eccentric Like if you like an assistant to Kanye West I feel like some bullshit like that will happen Cause that nigga is a fucking looney tune You know what I'm saying But I don't feel like Shorty's a looney tune So I don't know By the way I seen that YouTube shit changed So if I say that word Y'all gonna get mad Whatever I don't care but That being said Cause like bro it, It's not even you say it's a derogatory term, but I'm black and I'm saying it. So how am I getting punished for this? It's like YouTube dumb, I swear. Look at the melanin on my face, you heard me. Oh, there shouldn't be no penalty. But with that being said, man, all I really got to say is, hey, goddamn, goddamn turkey and ham, you heard me? Because, again, I'm not going to sit here and say she did that shit, but like, Again, these niggas trying to get paid. Let's keep it up. They want some money. They're trying to get paid. I ain't mad at you. Make your money. I said this in the whole, uh, when Little Wayne's assistant was suing him, like, oh, he hit me in a fight, so I'm suing him. I'm like, bitch, hey, I would have flop. This nigga could have lightly tapped me. I'm, oh, like, I'm falling, nigga. I'm doing the most. Like, you see that squirrel movie when that nigga was spinning? Nigga, I'm doing all that shit. You got me fucked up. I'm trying to get paid. Yeah, man. So, hey, I ain't mad at y'all trying to get your money, trying to get your check. You know what I'm saying? Rob the rich in this shit. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, bro, like, don't lie on niggas. <laughs> even though that's kind of lying, but, like, nigga, even if it's light to the point, like, yo, it wouldn't regularly move me. Nigga, I'm falling because I'm like, nigga, you got bucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at least that motherfucker hit you in truth. You know what I'm saying? No, you, you kind of fake the impact. Like, you mark it smart in it. You know what I'm saying? You just flopping like a little fish. But with that being said, hey. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's not act like these celebrity motherfuckers ain't wild. And they do some wild shit. And you're privy to it because you're their assistant or whatever. But, hey. We'll see what the fuck happens with this case. Hey, they could be lying. Shawty could be telling the truth. Maybe they're telling the truth. And Shawty lying. We'll see what happens. But, hey. I'm going to say, if y'all lose, boy, y'all hey, ain't going to be no assistance or whatever anymore. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she'll bad mouth you to anybody else. But with that being said, hey. What do you feel about this story? Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Besides that, how's y'all doing today? Got a militia, got a mob. Be strong with like a navy. Is your friendly neighborhood KA okay? sign off for today? The black TJ that while doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe. You trying to hit a little bit more on them gone. Slime zoom, peace, y'all. Aye.